What is going on fellow Pokemon card collecting enthusiasts? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video. And in this video, I have a 20 card PSA return to show off. Uh, I also got these two box toppers. First, let's talk about them. Uh, this is the Sky Ridge box topper, Charizard artwork, of course. This one's more of a plasticky feel to it, not really cardboard. Uh, pretty stoked to have this, gonna get it graded. Uh, then I also got this Legendary Collection box topper, Charizard artwork as well and it's got the checklist on the back. These came from Italy. I paid about $1,000, just over $1,000 for them. And this one didn't have an advertised little crease right there. You can see it, pretty easy to miss. Uh, and I requested the seller a return and there, that's in the mix right now. Uh, might be getting a, a couple hundred bucks back for that little crease that wasn't mentioned. He also shipped it in a bag. Uh, from Italy in like a really ra raggedy bag, not really a, a good thick bubble wrap kind of bag. So that was unfortunate that that occurred. Um, so he might be giving me a couple hundred bu bucks back or a return. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen with that, but let's get into this submission real quick. Uh, this submission was sent out uh, June 15th, 2022. It is now September 14th, so roughly three months to get these cards back. Uh, this first card, this Lugia right here, looks really nice. I actually don't know why it got the nine. Or sorry, it didn't get the nine uh, because it's a pretty clean card. Uh, the lighting in this video is a little different than I'm, I'm used to here. So maybe you guys can tell me, maybe you see something that this uh, didn't get a nine for. So there's that. Uh, we got a... Uh, Charizard from Celebrations, PSA 10. Look at that, textured and all. Uh, buddy of mine submitted this card and I did notice there was like a lot of dirt on it. I'm surprised it got a 10 to be honest. Let's see, yeah, look at all this dirt on this card. I'm glad this, uh, this camera's catching it. There's definitely some dirt in that top left hand side. Yeah, look at all that dirt. I wonder why this got a 10 with all the dirt on there. But this submission spans uh, five different people. So this Lugia card belongs to me. This Charizard card does not. I only have one other card in this whole submission. So we got this Calyrex VMAX right here, looking crispy, getting the nine. Uh, I would rather give this one a 10 than this Charizard in my opinion. Uh, but there's that grade right there. A lot of modern cards in this submission. Getting the gem in 10, let's go. Uh, a lot of this modern stuff is relatively easy to get 10s in uh, from my experience, uh, but sometimes you get the nine. And this is one of those times. This one looks really clean. I guess I see some extra cardboard up there on the top. So maybe that's why that got that. Next up is this Lugia GX Rainbow Secret Rare. Pretty cool to get the nine. Uh, I remember looking this one over and I think I estimated it to get a nine. There it is. Next up, we got a Jolteon VMAX. Pretty cool artwork. So if uh, any of you are down with the uh, modern cards, this video is for you. That was a Gem Mint 10. Here's another Gem Mint 10. Both the Jolteons getting tens. That's awesome. Let me know about the lighting. Uh, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I feel like it's looking pretty good when you uh, don't get the glare in there. But there's another Gem Mint 10. Really nice looking card. This case has a tiny little nick on it. That happens from time to time. Next up, Empoleon V, Mint 9. Flareon, V Max, getting the 10. Man, these, these new cards do have some bedazzle to them. That's for dang sure. Uh, the sleepy Tyranitar V. There he is with the Tepeg in the background. Like, darn, man, you really ate all that? So there's that card right there. Once again, another 10. Venusaur, base set. You'd think that this was my card submitting, but it's not. Jimmy, you got the seven there. I think we both uh, agreed that that would get a seven. Next up is a Cyber Twin Dragon First Edition in Near Mint to Mint 8. 
Then we got this Cramorant uh, beautiful artwork along with this Pikachu or Pikachu stamp box right here. Totally awesome uh, to get both of those in Gym Mint 10. I really want that card actually. I would actually pay whoever uh, got that card. Then we got this Umbreon V alternate art, Gem Mint 10. Let's go. Nice card. Got a Charizard VMAX also getting the Gem Mint 10. A lot of Gem Mint 10s in this submission here. Uh, another Gem Mint 10 for this Gengar VMAX. And last up is one of my cards. It's this Shiny Magikarp. So funny story about both of these cards. My buddy in Germany, shout out to Florian Beckers. Uh, he sold me these cards with a caveat that if one of them did not get a nine, he would give me $50 back. And I was totally cool with that. But he said, as, if any of them get a 10, you owe me 300 extra dollars. So potentially $600 extra. Uh, I wish both of them got nine. So we could have just had a straight deal. But uh, this one decided not to get a nine. <laughs> or the greater rather uh, rewarded it an eight. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers. By the time I'm recording this, I'm at 998. And I'm going to have to come up with something really cool to give you guys to say thanks. That's it for the video, everybody. Have a great day. Peace out.